Moving on to question number five. This one's about correction of errors. Looks like the most challenging out of the whole paper. This one was slightly challenging, but then this one looks like the most uh, challenging question from this paper. Sunita has prepared a trial balance at 31st December 2023 and also draft income statement fine. But then she discovered these errors. Now later on, we need to prepare suspense accounts. So let's figure out things from now on. The total sales returns journal 32324 had been credited to purchase account. Purchase account had nothing to do with it. So to fix this mistake, we will debit purchases. What we actually had to do was to uh, debit this instead. So to fix the error, we will debit this, we'll debit this. There are two debits that need to take place. Okay, what will be credit? Suspense in that first one. The purchase journal had been under cost by 90. That means we didn't total it wholly like that. So our purchases, which is supposed to be debit, is less by 90. So we will debit purchases so that we increase it up to up by 90. And what will be credit? Nothing really. So we'll just credit suspense. The total of uh, sales journal 14 for 19415 had not been posted to sales account. Mistake. To fix that, we will post it to sales account, which is credit entry. And so what will we do? Debit suspense, because there's nothing else to do with it. A payment received from uh, P, P Metal $129, had been debited to the account of M Patel. So when we receive the payment, we'll debit the bank and credit M Metal right? We do this, but instead we debited M Patel who had nothing to do with anything. So we will have to credit that person as well. So two credits, no, nothing to debit. Sometimes these cancel each other out, but then only if this was credited, then to fix that, we would debit it and it would cancel it out. But in this case, there are two credits, nothing to debit. So we debit suspense. We can decide the figure later. Capital introduced by Sunita 5,000 had been debited to the bank account, fine, because we receive money into the bank, but no other entry has been made. We are supposed to credit capital account. Debit what? Nothing, so debit suspense. Any questions, let me know in the comments. A rent payment 500 had been posted to the rent expense account is 50. What about the 450? So we need to debit expense by 450. And so what to credit it? Nothing, so we'll credit suspense. Done. Okay. Prepare the journal entry to correct uh, error one only. The narrative is required. For the first error, what did we decide? The total sales which we need to debit and purchase we need to debit. So we will say sales returns and purchases will both be debited. Three, five, two, four. 3524 and uh, nothing to credit so we credit suspense account if you multiply this by 2 3 to 3524 let me do that 3524 times 2 7048 will be credited to suspense okay let's move on oh and we also have uh, the narrative to write so we can say what what happened there. Let's just explain that. So sales returns mistakenly credited to purchase account, credited to purchases, now corrected. Okay. Suspense account now. We've already really figured it out. So we can start with that first one. We already know what's the entry, 7048. Oh, then we'll have to put the details. So let's break it down. Sales return, purchases, three, five, wait a second. Prepare the suspense account, include the balancing figure as the original difference. Now, we may continue like this. Whatever is the balancing figure will be the original difference. That's completely fine. 
Another way to deal with this, leave an empty line on top, leave an empty line on top and uh, on both the sides because we don't know where it's going to end up and see what where, where, where the balance in figure ends up. But it's okay, we can continue like this, uh, not a big deal, 3, 5, 2, 4, 3, 5, 2, 4. Okay, for the first one, done. Done with that first one. Second, the purchase journal, what did we decide? Credit sus. Buy how much? Purchase will be debited once. So we credit that once. It's going to be 90. What do we call it? We call it, um, well, what is purchase? Uh, what is debited? Purchases. So purchases will be debit and suspense account will be credit. Moving on to the third one. Um, in this case, we were supposed to debit suspense account. So we're going to debit suspense account by 19415. We call it sales because that's where the double entry is. Um, payment received from P, P Metal debited to M Patel. In this one, we decided we're going to debit suspense. So P Metal and uh, M Patel. Both are debited by 129. Next one, done, done. Next one, capital introduced. What did we decide? Debit suspense. So we debit suspense by 5,000. Call it capital because that's where the triple entry is. Rent payment, what did we decide? Credit suspense by 450. Okay, we can put the dates, 2023, December 31st. What else? We don't, there's no balance on suspense account, BDCD, there's no such thing. But in this question, it says the balancing figure will come out and that will represent the starting difference. So for that, let's add up both the sides, 19415. Plus 129 twice plus 5,000 gives me 24,673. What about the credit side? Let's see. 324, 3524, 3524 two times 9450. 7588, 7588. Looks like the difference is going to be here. And so this will be your difference on trial balance, which will be, let's see, 24,673 minus 7588, 17085 is what I'm getting. You can put the totals there, 24,673. Calculate the corrected profit figures in the table below. Okay, let's do it. So uh, the original profit is given to us. Let's see what items will affect the profits. Sales returns will have an implication, has been credit. So what, what have we done here? We have reduced purchases because we credit purchases. So we've, by mistake, what have we done? We have reduced purchases by mistake which will reduce cost and increase profit. So we need to reduce profit. You hear that? Think about that. By mistake, we have reduced purchases, which means we have reduced cost, which means we have increased profit. I'll, I'll put that chain over there. So by mistake, purchases are reduced, cost, that just means cost is reduced and that means profit is increased by that mistake. Now also there's the fact that we have ignored some of the sales returns. As a result of that mistake, sales returns have been shown as lesser, means sales are shown as higher, 
means profit are shown as is shown as higher so the total of effect of that which is 7048 will be the adjustment right so error one we can say the difference 7048 okay hopefully that makes sense the chain over there makes sense let's look at number two does that affect your income statement the purchase journal had been under cost so purchase are not recorded enough means cost is not recorded enough means profit is higher we need to lower it so error number two will also lower the profit by 90. by the way these are deductions because in both cases we need to lower the profit it's it's been set too high let's look at error number three total of sales journal 19415 had not been posted to the sales account so we are missing out isn't it so sales journal there were sales but they're missing out so that will increase our profit 19415 <coughs> next a payment received from p metal had been debited to accounts of m patel uh, that has no implication that will affect your receivables uh, balances but it will not affect your profit in any way capital introduced by sunita um in the bank account okay no effect on profit again rent payment this can be uh, this can have an effect perhaps rent payment 500 had been posted to rent expense account as 50 so there is uh, there is that so we need to include that i guess all right gross profit for the year after correcting wait a second gross profit for the year um oh wow that's tricky so normally what you would do is just correct all the errors but it turns out you don't have to because uh you, they are just asking for you to fix the mistakes in the trading section. Wow, that's a bit tricky. So potentially losing a mark there if you don't, if you didn't catch that if you didn't catch that trick. So that's it. That's all we need to fix. Let me just grab my calculator. Sixty six double two three minus seven zero four eight. Minus 90 plus 19,415. Gives me 78,500. Okay. Uh, be careful. This says gross profit. Rent is not part of the gross profit. It's part of the expenses, which comes after gross profit. So let's keep moving. Uh, original profit for the year as per draft financial statement so now we're going to include that error number three the original profit is 28750 what we will do is we will look at the change in gross profit so we can write what is it increase we can write change in gross profit or increase in gross profit How much is it? Let's uh, show the working seventy eight five hundred. Sixty six two two three. So until the gross profit, this is the difference. Sixty six two two three. Twelve two double seven. Okay, and then we have that, which error was it? On the rent, about the rent. You can even say the rent uh, undervalued or you can just mention the error name, error number. Error number six, how much was the effect? 450. We need to further deduct this because it wasn't deducted enough. It wasn't subtracted enough. 28,750. Plus one two triple seven. No, that's one double two double seven. 
minus 450. 40577. Okay, that's uh, fine. Oh, wait. Okay, the small details. Actually, it's a good thing they have they have uh, shown, given you the whole uh, platform. They've given you the whole uh, space for working, and then they have labeled everything for you. So that's nice, but it's just that I'm used to answering this over here because in the previous past papers, they didn't really uh, make your performer like that. Sunitha's gross profit margin is 40%. That's plenty, isn't it? Uh, gross profit margin. Calculate Sunita sales revenue for the year ended 31st December 2023. Okay, so so <clears throat> with the margin markup, there's often a table created that is sales revenue, cost, gross profit. Uh, the margin is 40, so you put 40 there. Next to sales revenue, you put 100. And next to that, you put 60 if you have to. The gross profit uh, in our case is, of course, the updated one, 78,500. And to get the sales, 78,500 divided by 40 times 100. Let's see, 78,500. Alternatively, you can also divide by 40%. Or 0 0.4 gives us 196250. So that's it. Actually, try to show this working over there. That's it. Well, hope you got some help from that. And if you enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos and if you wish to join our live classes, go to our website and fill in the registration form. See you later. Bye.